the what you said was that um the catholic church and it was equivalent to the catechism of the catholic church and that's something different you explained that to me was the uh, almost the rulings that the church made as to how the religion you know operated kind of right that's an aspect of the catechism yes it's also a historical sure. document sure but is it a historical document narrating jesus's life directly from him I, alex directly from him like uh, the, it it, it narrate, narrates part of uh, Christ's life that the Catholics consider vague in the scriptures, so they qualify it in the catechism. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. But my whole my whole point, right, is you can't say that Muslims that that Muslims affirm using their own holy books, the um the the older scriptures, and then when I try to give you something from the most authentic Muslim book. Uh, other than the Quran, which is the Sayyid al-Bukhari, you deny it and say that I don't, that, uh, and Bacon made the claim, he said, not all Muslims follow the Hadith. 95%, at least 95% of Muslims, they, they belong don't. to, Sun yes, they do, okay, they belong to the Sunni school well, of jurisprudence. Time, hold on, hold on, every time I bring up the Hadith to a Muslim, they go, oh, no, no, that Hadith isn't true because well, they because, cherry pick it. No, no, it's not cherry picking. Oh, the Hadiths are based on, they're not okay. based on the content of it, right? It's based on the fact that um, the chain of well, some of it, but it's based mostly on the chain of narration. Uh, yeah, as chain the of narration. I Who, know, I've heard this. So if you can't find wait, the chain of narration, then it's bullshit. Yeah, like, if, well, you, if you whenever if you don't whenever know I who brought up, these. when I brought up in the hadith about Aisha being smacked by Muhammad, he hit her in the chest and hurt her because he left well, the house one night and she snuck out and followed him. That was in the hadith, and I told that to a Muslim one time. They said, "Oh no, that's in the hadith, but that's not true because there's not a chain of command." Such yeah, bullshit. because you have guys to, are all no, ridiculous. No, it's not ridiculous. Here's the thing: you don't understand what you're talking about. First off, the chain of transmission is is what's used right when the hadith is narrated. Right? For example, if if I somebody gets a hadith. They have to say that the person who gave the hadith to say, in this case, Imam Bukhari, they have to say, I got this hadith from this person. And then Imam Bukhari, what he literally did, he had a biographical dictionary where he wrote down the person's biography and he found out about them. He looked at what they did. He looked at how they lived their lives, if they were trustworthy or not. If they were, the hadith so far is sahih. Then he goes to the next person. Then he goes to the next person. And then he does it for every single person until he gets to the Prophet Muhammad. This is a very rigorous uh, uh, line of authentication, which uh, Imam Bukhari did. Right, which makes is it's, it's one of the things that makes the Bukhari Sharif more authentic than any other book of Hadith. And the Muslims, like I said before, we can argue about whether it's authentic or not, right? But here's the thing: the Muslims majority of them follow this, right? Sunni Muslims are the biggest group of people, and only uh, what is it, about ninety five percent of Muslims are Sunnis, right? They follow okay, the four right. Islamic schools of right, jurisprudence. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Sure. It, it, it's a it's irrelevant to my line of questioning. Okay, right? but, I, no, no, it's not I, I I upper uh, it's irrelevant to what what you're talking about to bacon okay right? that that sure. part that part's irrelevant okay. right but the i want to bring up the hadith bring up... now that i want that i want to quote because um i was quoting it and then we got into this discussion of whether it's authentic or not okay go ahead so it's uh i'll give you the reference say al-bukhari book uh volume 9 book 93 uh hadith number I tell you what, can you just uh can you just uh uh post I'll it, um i'll put it in main chat yeah, that'd be great. I don't want to hear preaching. And here's the thing, right? I'll just read the one part from it. It says that no. Allah has told you that some people, that uh, that some of the people of the scriptures, and the Christians and Jews are referred to as people of the scriptures, or the people of the book, have changed some of Allah's books and distorted it and wrote something with their own hands. Here it is, right which here. Book, which claiming, book? Which book? Which book? Which book is he claiming they changed? Well, he's saying the Bible, that they changed right? the books. Bible. No, no, no. It's saying it's saying books which in general. Book? It's speaking generally. It does not have to be specific. Which books? Which books? Okay, hold, hold on. Can, go, both of you guys, just can you give me a second to read this? I go can't ahead. read it while you guys are yelling at each other. Yes. It's pure and not distorted. Change some and distort. Mm -hmm. A lot. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Couple things with this. Okay, mm -hmm. first starts out by speaking of the people of the scriptures, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Referring to Christ Christians. Yeah, right? Christians and Jews. It, then, yeah, and then it says, while your book, which Allah has revealed to your prophet, contains the most recent news from Allah, 
right? Mm -hmm. And is pure and not distorted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the issue with that, right? There is no there, there is no reference to when the Christian books were changed. That's okay. not what the claim I'm making. I'm saying that you don't need to know when they're changed to say that Muslims you believe it is changed. Absolutely. Oh, okay. You no. Hold, yeah, on. No, no, hold on. Hold on. You okay. absolutely need to know when they're changed. And there's a reason for that, right? Because when we go back to the oldest texted manuscripts that we have of the uh, gospel, right? And then we go to when the Bible was codified, right? And then we go to the Quran, okay? There is no whatsoever meaningful change in the scriptures from the original textant manuscripts 700 years before the gospel for the quran was written to the time of when the quran was written to the time after the quran was written okay mm -hmm. so the only thing that you can say is that somewhere within that time frame right the scriptures were corrupted but since you cannot say when they were corrupted and since we have a cumulative total of 6500 texted manuscripts from the new testament and from the oldest to the newest there is nothing changed in there which changes no that's the actually message. not true do you know it what is the uh, absolutely revised? true. I, I want to bring up two documents to you, right? First off, uh, well, first thing I want to address is that you, you made the statement, right? You made the claim that Muslims, they're, they're, here's the thing, I wasn't addressing the time period, and I will get to that, right? I was addressing that first, that you claim that Muslims affirm the other holy books based on their own teachings. When I, sh when I showed you this hadith, this was almost a defeater to that argument, right? Because I'm showing you here, it says they wrote it with their own hands, and it's talking about the Christians and Jews. So that that is first off where you can't you can't if you see that and you uh what is it and i showed you this you can't claim anymore that muslims affirm that the other holy books are uh what is it are 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 uh, correct right because we all agree all the muslims agree on this hadith a second thing right is that the christian who manuscripts cares? what do you mean who cares he brought up that muslims don't muslims that's like that's just don't... like propaganda all muslims uh that's biased all who Muslims agree it? on it. No, who gives no, a no. Fuck? Because we're biased. talking about the Muslim beliefs. What are you talking about, Bacon? That's not, it's not about whether it's biased. And I'm talking about whether what Muslims believe. And he made the claim that Muslims affirm the other holy books. And I was I was making a statement that okay, let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you mm -hmm. something. Yeah. How does the Muslim? How did Muhammad know of Christ? Through God false all muhammad knew of the life of christ through the oral recitation of the scriptures mm, that is mean? how muhammad knew because muhammad lived almost 700 years after the life and death and resurrection of christ okay mm -hmm. during that during the time period of muhammad he would have known about Christ because of the area when she lived in by What's one an either re by either reading the Bible because the Bible had spread everywhere well, by that no, time. No, no, not exactly. Or, or and and look, look, hold on, hold on. By oral tradition. Now, the Quran makes a couple statements about the Christian faith in the Quran. Mm -hmm. For instance. The Quran speaks about the Trinity mm -hmm. in the Quran. However, Muhammad got it wrong. Well, no, not necessarily. So, so this, is this is what the about, Quran says the, the Trinity Jesus. is. Hold on, hold on. This is what the Quran says the Trinity is. The Quran says the Trinity is Allah, Jesus, and Mary. They oh, no. think Mary is the god 
is a like 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 that Allah had sex with the god Mary and produced the god Christ. That's that mm -hmm. that's what they say Christians believe. Now, is that what Christians believe? Well, yeah, actually, it is. No, because no, Christians, it, it, it no, is no, let me, let me, Are you Kathleen, fucking serious? Kathleen, Kathleen. I will, all right, hold on, hold on. No, no, wait a second. Wait a second. I want you to Jesus listen. As, God, as God's begotten son. Begotten, literally the I, act I of begetting to... is to have intercourse. That's what begetting means. When you're claiming that Christians don't believe Jesus Jesus uh, was begotten through Mary, then you are you don't understand. I want you to listen. Scripture. I want you to listen very, very closely to what I say. Okay. I know what you're saying. The I want Quran, to Quran. No, because you answered it incorrectly. No, no, I'm the not Quran, finished with my answer though. But, but you didn't All right, listen. The Quran says that the Christian Trinity mm -hmm. is God the Father mm -hmm. or Allah, all right? Christ, God the Son, and Mary, God the Mother. That is what your Quran says the Christian Trinity is. No, that not is exactly. not that's your, the that's your interpretation. Trinity. That's your that's your interpretation. Right? That is so what you believe wrong. to be. Yeah, that's what you think it says, right? But if you read the verse, it's it doesn't ever say that the Trinity consists uh, in the Christian view of this and this and this. It says it says that do not take my it says do not take my prophets and uh, what is it my holy men as. Uh, gods right do not put these these next to me and worship them as gods as the christians do it says say say one not three and also it adds on and it says do not it says do not worship mary it says do not take also take mary as a god right and the reason why is because christians some christians even today actually did pray to mary they even to do uh today do pray to mary right the catholic pray, church yeah the catholic church as well there's statues of mary where people literally leave blessings that they leave things that because they think they're going to get a blessing it's literally idol worship, right, towards Mary, you know, statues of Mary throughout the Catholic world, which are, you know, venerated and worshipped, right? So you can't say that Christians, to an extent, do not worship Mary. Also, I wanted to make the claim that... Uh, what, what uh, the they thing? don't. Uh, Catholics worship Mary, not Christians. Catholics are Christians. I don't Same Christian. Christian. Hold A Christian on. is an individual who worships Hold Christ I don't, or follows I don't consider, the teachings of Christ. I don't consider Catholics Christians. Well, academics right, do consider on. Catholics Christians. Hold on. Hold on. I will give you... I will give you in your own book. And when Allah saith, O Christ, Son of Mary... Didst thou say unto mankind, take me and my mother for two gods beside Allah? He saith, be glorified. It was not mine to utter that to which I had no right. If I used to say it, then thou knewest it. Thou knewest what is in my mind, and I know not what is in thy mind. Lo, mm -hmm. thou only thou art the mm -hmm. knower of things hidden. Five mm -hmm. 116. Muhammad here mistakenly assumes that Mary is the third member of the Christian <laughs> Trinity. <laughs> oh, shit. Get wrecked, always. Get no, no, no. wrecked. Here's the thing, right? When you look at this, right, you're discussing, you're, you're basically saying that he said that since the Quran says that did, did he's asking Jesus, God is asking Jesus, saying that, did you take my, uh, did you take uh, ask you and uh, the people to ask to uh, take you and your mother as gods before me, right? This is a different verse than the one which identified the Trinity and said, say, say one, not three, right? This is a different verse. And it's talking, like I said before, if you, like it's talking about people worshiping Mary and worshiping Jesus, right? If people pray to Mary and pray to Jesus and the Christians do this, even today, the Catholics do this, if you don't want to call them Christians, but we Muslims do refer to them as Christians, then, you know, you can't say that this verse is incorrect because they are effectively worshiping these figures. Now, here's Time the out. Time out. No. False. The Catholics do many things that are that border on heresy, but no so time creating from statues, the found. The so creating Wait a statues second. of a of a Wait figure a and giving and praying to uh, it is not idolatry. The Catholic Church has done many heretical things, but at no point since the foundation of the first Pope to the modern incarnation of Holy Mother Church 
has the Christian or has the Catholic papacy ever affirmed that Mary was a god? Well, actually, they did. The Council of uh, Ephesus, right, four thirty one. They they did proclaim Mary as the mother of God, though. You know, the early mother. The mother. Hold so, a second. Hold on. So what, no, 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 no. Is in no, no, no. What does the of mother God. of God? What in the world? Do you, how in the world do You're, you go no, no. from a Catholic a speaking of how do you go? Because this so is identified far, within the Christian doctrine. How, I've explained all of this to you. How you don't want do to accept you the go, answer because it defeats your argument. Christians who do worship you, Mary, oh Catholics God, are Christians. They worship Mary. You know, Christians <laughs> even I dated. You, I can show you as back as 431. You can Google this if you don't believe me. The Council of Ephesus, right? Mary is literally proclaimed as the mother of God, right? She's literally revered as holy. She's worshipped. How do you, how can you even, you know, make the claim without lying to yourself that Christians don't worship God? No, like, do you God, even hear what you're saying? I don't agree with you. The that, they can, that she's worshipped. She may be revered and prayed to, but that doesn't mean she's Praying to someone is worshipping them. Okay. What do you mean? Look, dude. Do you, so. okay, you, you are intent, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you're committing intellectual dishonesty right now, or you're just intentionally obfuscating, or you're just not listening. So I want you to pay very close attention to what I say. The Catholic Church since the foundation of the first pope to the modern incarnation of holy mother church has never affirmed that mary is part of the trinity mary is the biological mother of Here's the, thing, the right? son of god simply because mary is the biological earthbound mother of the son of god does not make mary god and in fact many cult worshiping coptics in the second century attempted to think that mary was in fact a god and this brought about a huge uh grouping of the churches to rebuke that teaching because it is not taught in the scriptures mary was a sinner just like everyone else and yes do the catholic churches idolize mary yes is that heresy yes but have they ele ever elevated her to the status well they pray for her part of the trinity absolutely well, no. not no, no no here's the thing no here's the thing. it's not true they pray catholics do in fact pray to mary right and the Quran yes. itself. Uh, so, so now you're just ignoring no, again everything Kathleen, I just said. No, Kathleen, I listened to everything you said, right? Let me speak my part. And, and, and you, you just ignored it. No, I didn't ignore it. I'm going to address it. I'm, I'm literally addressing what you're saying. I'm not ignoring you at all. I've heard what you said. Here's the thing, right? In the Quran, right? It says, you know, it's addressing groups of people, right? Who refer to Mary as divine, right? You can't say that Muslim, that, you know, they're, my whole point, right, is saying that if the Catholic Church is a sect, if they are a sect of people and they do revere Mary as divine, if they do worship Mary and us Muslims do view them inside of uh, the Christian of uh, Christendom, right? They are still, right? They're still part of Christianity and God is addressing them, right? And the thing is, it says, uh, what is it? Um, when, he, when he says, oh, Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people take me as, as my, and my mother as deities besides Allah? When you have elevated Jesus, to, you know, the son of God, and he is somehow part of God, and Mary is the mother of God, you know, what, what does that, what, is that not implying that Mary is a deity? You know, are you, are, like, at this point, I think you're just lying to yourself because it makes more sense to your argument. If you honestly think that you can take the sinful biological mother, mortal no, mother of think. Christ, that's your religion thing. and <laughs> elevate her to deity you are not only misrepresenting the muslim understanding oh no Mary, you don't understand the muslim understanding. you are misrepresenting the christian no, that's not understanding my, of Mary. I, no, no 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 i was not claiming that that's what i view of mary i'm claiming that this is the muslim view of how christians or some christians at least do view mary right if somebody prays to another individual with this is the islamic belief right if somebody prays to another individual if you're praying to someone or, or something right that is not God, you are effectively worshiping them, right? And in Islam, we say that, you know, and the thing is, right, with this specific situation, there are many Catholics, even popes and stuff, who did pray to Mary, right? You can't deny that. I could, I could give you the names of Pope, Pope John Paul II, for example, he did pray to Mary. 
you know, other, other popes, you know, they pray to Mary, they view Mary as divine. They, you know, they think Mary has omnipotence, you know, think she's omniscient. How is that not worshiping or taking Mary as a deity? They refer to Mary, like I said before, as a mother of okay. God. This is what's I not understanding. To, I want you to recite me. I would like you to recite me the prayer that the Catholics give to Mary. Could you do that for me, please? Well, I don't need to know that to know that they do worship Mary. Could you do that for me, please? Probably Why not. Why would I need to? Why you would can't. I need to? Okay. You can't. Because it completely defeats your argument. You can't do it. No, not exactly. I don't see how that defeats my argument. So you just Holy it. Mary, well, Mother of God, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins now and at the hour of our death. Okay? That is the prayer unwit unto which Catholics assign Mary. I mean, Nowhere in that prayer there, there do they are... assign Mary divinity. No, no. They use Mary as an intercessory, intercessory mm -hmm. to God. Sure. Now, is that biblical? Sure. Absolutely but not. Here's the thing. The only no, no, intercessory no. needed is Christ. So do Catholics make the mistake of thinking that Mary can intercede for them? Absolutely they do. But do they elevate Mary to part of the divine oh. Trinity? No. I mean, here's the thing, right, which I explained to you before, which it's, it's gone over your head every time. When I say, right, when I've told you this, right, and this can be confirmed, it's like there's statues of Mary where people leave stuff at, right? There's people in the world, right, who do, in fact, many, many people, many Christians, many Catholics, you know, who, uh, you know, and I'm not talking about this specific prayer, which you mentioned, right? That specific prayer doesn't have to really to do with my argument. We can say that that instance is not worshiping Mary. Sure, it's using her as an intermediary between uh, that between the individual and God, right? I can agree with you on that. But here's the thing, Mary, when, when you, when an individual is, you know, go, made a shrine of someone with a statue of them and they're going to that and they're, you know, praying towards it, you know, that's, that's literally worship. I don't know how else you would classify it. And yep. if you don't, if you don't agree with that, you're, you know, you're lying to yourself. And yeah, Catholics you, but do no, that. No, Christians here's what do you that. did. This is all you did is you ignored you ignored my statement that the Catholics have committed many heresies, including mm. that of idol worship, simply because the well, lay well, Catholic well, that and the diocese, simply because the lay Catholic and the diocese think that Mary is of significant importance to the point where they should give her worship has absolutely zero meaning because it you, is not authoritative because you, it you does just, not appear admitted, in the scripture. No, you just no, admitted that Christians admit do anything. worship Mary. No, you said that. D didn't you didn't you just say that? That Christians do no, some of them worship Mary. Do you just understand it's not affirmed within the scripture? We, and we can argue whether it is or not, right? Just because it's not specifically stated in the scripture doesn't mean I, I just that don't they don't understand do why you're That's choosing to die on this both, ball here. No, no, no. If we both can agree that some Christians do, like you just claimed, then our argument's done because it proves my point that, that God said, did no, you it take Mary? Did, did you tell, no, no, let me finish. God said to, to Jesus, did you tell uh, the people, literally says the people to take you and Mary as gods, right? And the thing is, if somebody's worshiping someone, which you admit they did to Mary, like they do to Jesus, then they effectively take them as God. From the Muslim perspective, now, you know, you might think to yourself that that is wrong, but here's the thing. I've proven to you that it isn't by using the same logic and using your own words, which you just told me Dude, that, that no. uh, they don't do that. You're just so. not Actually, listening. He just did, Kathleen. He just did. No, you, you know. So, um, I'm, I'm going to go in like five minutes, by the way, so I got to sleep soon. When? Kathleen, Catholic. shut up a minute. Kathleen, shut up a minute. Uh, <clears throat> oh, wait, just... Uh, do you believe that Catholics think that the saints are gods? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. You, you don't believe that Catholics think saints are gods? I, I don't know enough about that specific thing, but no, so I don't. Okay, well, Catholics don't think the saints are gods, yet they pray to them. Mm, I didn't know if they did or not. So that's the thing I said I Is don't know like about Is that like the it. equivalent of praying to like angels or something? Does that mean they worship the saints though? Mm, it depends, I think. If they're using them as an intermediary, then no. But if they're praying directly to the saint and, and thinking that the saint hears their prayer, 
and can wait you know, a second, give them wait the a power second. to it. Did you just then, say if they're using them as an intermediary, then no? Because no. what did I qualify their worship well, of Mary was? Using yeah, her I as an that. intermediary, no, no, an no. intercessor. That was, that was a specific situation. I told you, I'm not talking about the situation. Oh, and I gave you oh, the so it only applies to Mary no. and it doesn't apply no, to no, the no. stains. I got that's, not my, that's not my argument at all. Arbitrary. Kathleen, 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 that's not the argument I'm making. Kathleen, that's not what I said. Stop, you're straw manning. My, uh, the whole thing I'm saying, Kathleen, is that if you look, right, Christians, I didn't, I didn't refer to the prayer. I even said that if that's the case, they're just using her as an intermediary. I claim that that's not a big deal, right? That's not, that's not idol worship, right? But I said that if people erect statues of this figure, you know, uh, then they're very common. And, you know, people go to these and they leave, like, they leave, um, you know, money or something like that. And they pray towards it. And, and they why do, do they do things. that? Why do they do that? Because they think it gives them some that? type of blessing. They're praying no. towards it effectively. They no, are. No, no, no. no, no, no let no, me finish on, my on. statement, Kathleen. Kathleen, please, please. I haven't interrupted you. Let me, let me talk. They, you know, if somebody is doing that, they're praying to another statue or something like that, right? Then I think that they are worshiping it. Now, with the saint, I, st I think that, and the thing is, this is not intermediary. This is not intercession, right? I don't think that that is necessarily worshiping them. Now, with the example that he gave of the, of the, I think the popes, right? Was it the popes, Paul, that you said? Or was it the bishops? I forgot. No, no, I didn't. I didn't mention them. I just mentioned the, the saints. I don't. Okay, have, yeah, the saints. I don't. Saints. I don't have any. Okay. Sure, sure. I don't, I don't really care what you do. Okay, so the saints, right? With the saints, um, I think that if they use them as the intermediary, then no, it's not. It's not a idol worship or anything like that. Or it's not associated. Yo, um, I just want to finish listening to oh, wait, Kathleen. Be right back. Okay, let's just ask the Catholic Church. Okay, Let, let's just mm -hmm. let's just ask that. Let's just ask the Catholic Church what they think of Mary. Okay, so we'll just go to dynamic Catholic. Well, that, here's the thing: okay. it doesn't necessarily matter because I've told you before that the Muslim definition of what is ascribing partners to God is what I'm using and what I'm basing my argument off of, right? And it falls into that thing. So you can't criticize the Muslims and say their own definition is wrong. That's the thing I've been trying to paint that uh, I've been trying to show you that you I don't think you've understood that. And I'm about to go okay. in like a minute or two. Okay, then let's just go to the Quran. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I already read you the first one in five sixteen. But I'll read it again and then I will read from four one seventy one and so are we gonna go into giant circle again? Because I've I've already okay. defeated arguments so, for you. So let's just go back to these, okay? When and when Allah saith, O Jesus, son of Mary. Didn't thou say unto mankind, take me and my mother for two gods beside Allah? He saith, be glorified. It was not mine to utter that to which I had no right. If I used to say it, then thou knewest it. Thou knowest what is in my mind, and I know what is in thy mind. Lo, thou only thou art the knower of things hidden. Number two. O oh, people of the book, commit no excuse excesses in your religion, nor say of God aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was no more than an apostle of God, and his word which he has bestowed on Mary and a spirit proceeding from him. So believe in God and his apostles. Say not Trinity, desist it will be better for you for god is one god glory be to him and above having a son to him belong all things in heaven and on earth and enough is god as a disposer of affairs all right so now what's important about this one it is literally saying christians don't affirm the trinity because god is only one god and what is the trinity god christ and mary no mention of the spirit do they blaspheme who say God is one, three in a trinity? For there is no God except one God. If they desist not from their word of blasphemy, verily a grievous penalty will befall the blasphemy blasphemers among them. In all three of these, the Quran uh, qualifies that Christians believe in a trinity. It affirms that the trinity is God, Christ, and Mary. No. If Allah was all-knowing and all-powerful, and if the Quran is the inerrant written word of God, 
Kathleen, he would not have I been made such an egregious on that. error. I need to interject on that. I'm going to finish. God would oh. not have made such an egregious error as to qualify Mary as part of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. So do you want me to go Kariji or do you want to go? Because I, I, I want to say real quick, I think we've gone in a giant circle with this because I already gave you the response to these it's arguments always, first. You just, you know, the thing is, is that the tafsir of that verse mm -hmm. is from like, if we look at from tafsir of Sa'di, tafsir of Jala'in, uh, tafsir of Kurtubi, and so on and so forth, that this refers to a specific group of Christians. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's what I was telling him. I'm like, so I, I pointed to the Catholics, right? And I said the Catholics do this. The specific... Yeah, uh, I, it's, yeah he's saying, and here he's inc incorrectly implying that this applies to all Christian sects, which is mm -hmm. incorrect. If uh, According to classic, classic and early Quranic exegesis. So, I mean, here's the thing that I was trying to, I was trying to pull up is like, you know, even historically, right? 431, the Council of Ephesus, you know, Mary, Mary was proclaimed the mother of God. And by Islamic standards, that is, you know, referring to someone as an idol beside God. Now, anyway, um, I have to go now. I got to go like make food and everything and then I go to sleep. So uh, is, Wait, is there Grace, like, what are you making? Can I have some? Yeah, I'm making what some making? Uh, pasta and it has like vegetables in it. And it's uh, pretty good dude, you no, you should have been making freaking biryani and stuff, man. Uh, it's hard. That's hard to make, man. It's like okay. So who who's left in here? Here's, right, who's left yeah. in here? Because I want I, yeah. I want to ask a question because you are saying that this verse is only referring to a certain certain group of Christians. Which group of Christians are they referring to? Not entirely sure as to what they're referring to. You're not entirely sure of what they're referring to. You only know that they're referring to a certain group of Christians. I'd have to I'd have to refer to the Tafsir books again. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. At the time of the existence of Muhammad, when these books were being written, what type of Christians were there? There are various different types. Yeah. What types were there? To name this specifically, I there were there were Ebionites. There were there were. Four, there were I guess what you'd call, I guess, proto-Catholic and proto-Orthodox. This was before the Greek. Proto-Catholics? You People understand were, that the Catholic I... Church was formed in the year, the, in, in, in the late 300s, right? I see. Use the term proto-Catholic as to what we know it as today. That's why I'm still using the term proto. Okay, the Catholic Church has been the Catholic Church since the incarnation of the Catholic Church. In regards to, I think the, oh wait, no, what was it going to say? Um, I think the Orthodox Church would slightly disagree on that, but that's neither here nor there. Oh wait, by the way, your name real quick. Are you Irish or of Irish origin? Because I noticed the name uh, Kathleen. My, my mom's Irish. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That explains a lot. Kath Oh, so question are you pro are you pro republican or uh are you asking if i'm a fenian or yes, uh, like or do i support like the crown the I, I support the crown oh okay so you're god save something. the queen ah uh, so no team so no for Allah for you then Okay, so again, going back, and, and if yeah. I piss my Fenian brothers off, that's fine. We can have our own internal disagreements. I want to get back. When Mohammed was writing the Quran, there was no Protestant. There was no oh. Quaker. There was no Baptist. There was no oh, really? Anabaptist. No, that's, that's, you're right? talking about things that literally happened after 1500s. After yes, I understand that. That I understand that. That's what I'm saying. So, at the time of the writing of the Quran, you would have had the Catholic Church, Orthodox right? Church, you would have had the Church, Eastern Church, Orthodox Church. Churches. You would have had the Eastern Orthodox Churches, right? You'd have had the Catholic Church, the Orthodox Churches, and you would have had the Gnostic Churches. Okay. You also forgot the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. 
uh, yeah, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church is basically doctrinally the same as the Eastern Orthodox Churches. With slight creedal differences, but we'll get into that later. So, when you say, I don't know what they're referring to, right? And when we're talking about Mary and we're worshipping yeah, Mary, also mine, who, who also should we... Sex as well. Yes, I understand that. Who should we extrapolate from this verse without you being able to say this is who they were talking about? Who are we to extrapolate from this verse that Muhammad was talking about? Not sure. We, Not uh, I, I think it's common sense to extrapolate that they're talking about the Catholic Church. To extrapolate, it's not the Catholic Church wasn't mentioned reference in any of the exegetical texts. Was there a specific church that was mentioned in the Quran that this verse would be dealing with? No. However, just no. in the exegetical text, it's referring to. It just says that. So, so hold on. When you speak about when you speak about exegesis, right? Yes. You were speaking about something that is in the Quran. No, exegesis is tafsir of the Quran. Okay, I, uh, maybe then we use different delineations you, you, of these no, words no, mean, because using, exegesis, no, the there's exegesis rather than exegesis. No, exegesis, exegesis means, exegesis internal, means, means external. Okay, when we talk about eisegeting the Bible, right, we are saying you are reading into the scripture that what you want it to say. When we say we are exegeting yeah, no. the Bible, we are saying you are reading the accurate word of God in its accurate description. So, for instance, when the Catholics read the book of James and wrongfully assume tafsir that... Is referred uh, to, in Islamic ter terminology, tafsir is referred to as Islamic ex as Quranic exegesis. Period. Okay, There's well no then, we just, have, we just have two different... We have just two different uses of the word then, and that's fine, right? But I am asking a very specific question, and I am asking this for a very specific reason, right? Because this verse is saying that Mary is part of the Trinity. That this book is saying people of the, of the scripture think that Mary is God. So we need to know which church is the Quran referring to. Okay, is it not something you could just quickly Google? Well, I'm just going to assume it's talking about the Catholic Church because that's the most likely that's the most likely that it's talking about the Catholic Church because the Catholic Church it has existed since 380 AD and basically had consumed the entirety of that area by then. Okay? So I'm just going to assume it's talking about the Catholic Church. Yeah, and it was in the peninsula. In in which peninsula? I'm talking about in the, where this where this would be in particular setting in the Arabian Peninsula. That would be if Well, let's just take a look. Because he's obviously referring to Christians. Right? He's obviously referring to some kind of Christian. So to do with uh which we call the Nestorian Church if anything else. As far as Christian churches in the peninsula. Okay, as but well Ebionites, some groups of Ebionites, but that's a whole different Okay, so it's patently obvious, right? It is patently obvious that Muhammad, uh, when he was writing uh, the Quran, was aware of the oral traditions of Jesus and just got a lot of crap wrong and then wrote it into his holy book. How could he have got it? That, that... First, of all, first of all, one, he wasn't in contact with Christians. Number two... He absolutely would have been in contact with Christians. Christianity had in made its way all the way to the no, did. Actually, no, he did. how could he have been? For number number one, they didn't. There wasn't any Christian sources that were in Arabic at the at for his time period. Uh, 
like was it gonna say Christian scriptures in Arabic didn't come until much later point number two number two he was not known to have spoken any languages any other language outside of Arabic and some some Abyssinia some words in the Abyssinian language in the various Obsidian languages at best okay well if that was the case how does he know anything about Christ and why is there anything about Christ all the books of the Jews on the basis of revelation oh on the basis of revelation yeah, neither on the basis of revelation, he knows about yeah, these things. Neither yeah, neither read nor write. Okay, neither why, why, why should we, why should we accept the subjective will of a god that can change his mind? Why should we accept his revelations as anything but heresy? No, it's on the basis of that people change and rewrite things in their books. And this when did that happen? Infinite. Uh, if we want to talk about the four, the four uh, codexes that we have to date, the fact that there's various changes within them, and they are the oldest complete biblical manuscripts that we have to date according to Christian doctrine, and if you'd like me to specify those, Codex Vaticanus, Vaticanus Codex Sinaiticus, Codex Egypticus, and the Codex Alexandrinus. Oh, we can also mention the fact that none of them mention the resurrection at all. Not even in different wording. How so that was separate. When exactly, oh, we can also the when, exactly, one when exactly did the Bible become corrupted? There's various time periods. But There's various you know, time when periods when it, started, when it, when it got don't corrupted. Have any, we don't have any evidence. We don't have any textual evidence of any any which, any biblical manuscript older than the, than the late 4th century. False. Nothing. False. Correct. Completely and totally Correct. false. Even the Dead Sea Scroll even the Dead Sea Scrolls is not is not is not a biblical manuscript. If we want to make references to the Dead Sea Scrolls, let's talk about how the fact that how there used to be over four hundred oh wait no not over four hundred over four thousand psalms. And now there's about hundred and fifty of them left. What happened to the rest of the three thousand three thousand plus psalms? Alright, you just mm -hmm. claimed you just claimed That's a fact. right? Hold on. You just claimed that the earliest textant manuscripts of the Gospels that we have... Early, no, the earliest complete biblical manuscripts. Earliest complete. Nothing older than the 4th century CE. Yes. And I'm going to stick by that claim. I can make well, references you to stick... biblical scholars as well. If you'd like, I can make references to Dan Wallace, Bart D. Ehrman. Let's go with Bart D. Ehrman. Let's see what he has to say, yeah? Bart D. Ehrman on Biblical Manuscripts. Hold on a second. I misspelled Ehrman. I spelled it with an N instead of an M. Hold on a second. Give me a moment. Give me a moment, sir, because, uh, like I said, Discord slows down my phone. So yeah. Okay. What was I gonna say? Okay. This, this was something fairly recently said by Bart Keaton Ehrman. Okay. In regards to biblical manuscripts, okay, this is something that's quoted by by biblical New Test uh, by biblical uh, scholar Bart Keaton Ehrman. He's very well known. Uh, in regards to a piece that he wrote in regards to New Testament manuscripts, good news and bad news, is uh, from his blog. Says, in my previous posts, I started talking about the different kinds of manuscripts of the New Testament we have. As a prelude to my discussion of my book, The Orthodox Corruption of Scripture, now I want to say something further about these manuscripts and how they can help us reconstruct what the authors of the New Testament originally wrote in parentheses and why they posed problems for us at that, to that end. Below is what I say about the matter in my textbook on the New Te Testament and the new 6th edition that just appeared. And then he goes on with it. 
when trying to reconstruct what the authors of the New Testament actually wrote based on surviving copies, we have both good news and bad news. The good news, we have more manuscripts for the New Testament than for any other book in the ancient world. Many, many more manuscripts than we have for the writings of Homer, Plato, Cicero, or any other important author. We have something like 5,700 manuscripts of the New Testament, from small fragments of tiny parts of a single book. We complete the copies of the entire New Testament in the Greek language in which they were originally written, along with manuscripts in many other ancient languages, for example, Latin, Syriac, and Coptic. That is good news indeed. The more manuscripts you have, the more likely it is that you can figure out what the authors originally said. Still, there's some bad news. As I have already in, in, intimated, despite the large number of manuscripts we have, there are, hardly any, there are hardly any that are extremely early. Most of our manuscripts are from the Middle Ages, many centuries over a thousand years after the originals. What is worst, all the surviving manuscripts disagree with one another. Hmm, that seems very telling. Often in minor ways, and sometimes even in major ways. Apart from the smallest fragments, no two of our manuscripts are exactly alike. How many differences are there in the surviving New Testament manuscripts? Thousands of differences. Tens of thousands of differences. Hundreds of thousands of differences. It is, it is probably easiest to put the matter in comparative terms. There are more differences in our manuscripts than there are words in the New Testament. But there is more good news. The vast majority of these hundreds of thousands of differences are completely and utterly unimportant and insignificant and don't matter at all. But far the most common differences show us that, that scribes in the ancient world could spell no better than most people can today. And in parentheses it says that the scribes didn't have to spell yet. Obviously you know that from banter. If we really want to know what the Apostle Paul had to say about the importance of Jesus' death and resurrection, does it matter, matter to us how he spelled the word resurrection? Probably not. More, but what more, moreover, lots of other kinds of differences in our manuscripts, as we will see, might be seen to explain and don't affect the meaning of the writing so at least. But there's also some more matters. There are, there are lots of differences that do matter a lot. They may not completely reverse the teachings of the New Testament. When the Bible says that, quote, God is love, we don't have manuscripts that claim the opposite that, uh, that, quote, God is hate. But as we will see, they do affect how we interpret the passages of the books of the New Testament. And sometimes they affect significant teachings of the biblical authors. There is, however, some further good news. Some of the manuscripts of the New Testament appear to be highly accurate copies. A few of them are very ancient. The oldest surviving manuscript is what we call P52. Name this because it is the 52nd papyrus manuscript to be discovered in catalog in modern times. It is just a tiny scrap found in the trash heap in Egypt that originally came from a full manuscript of the Gospel of John. But all that is left is this little piece of a size of a credit card with writing on the front and back that has a few verses from John 18, John chapter 18, where Jesus is put on trial before Pontius Pilate prior to his crucifixion. Even though this little scrap does not have much writing on it, it is very valuable. Scholars have typically dated it to around 125 CE, just 30 to 35 years after John was originally written. It could be a copy, it could well be a copy of a copy of a copy. Too bad the rest of the manuscript didn't survive. A first reasonably complete copy of the Gospel of John is from around 200 CE. That is still a long time after John was written, well over a century, but it is still pretty old, older than most manuscripts from most, author, most other authors from the ancient world by a wide margin. Our first complete manuscripts of the New Testament started appearing at about 150 years after that, in the mid 4th century CE, 300 or so after the originals. Hmm, sounds very consistent with what I was talking about earlier, eh Kathleen? And so, I'm with the New Testament... To you, mate. Say it again? I'm just letting you dig your own grave. 
I study comparative religion for a living. That's great. So That's fine. It's not, it is, so it's just, not I'm, I'm, I'm really just, I'm just allowing you to keep on. I'm just allowing you to keep on. Well, that's fine. I already know. I already know that you're gonna start straw manning me after I'm done. But oh, not enough. at all. I'm not finished. at all. New testaments are. Kathleen, not stop being a packet, please. Shut the fuck up, tasteless. Go on, Kahari. All right. New testament started appearing about 150 years after that, in the mid fourth century CE, 300 or so years after the originals. And so with the New Testament, we're in the good situation of having some manuscripts, even if highly fragmentary, from within a century or two of the books originally have been written. Still, you may have already figured out still more of the bad news. Having a few scraps from within a hundred years of when the New Testament was written does not give us what we already, we'd really like to have. Complete manuscripts from near the time the authors published their books. The first reasonable complete copy of the New Testament did not appear in the New Testament after the books were first written by the Old That's two or three hundred years of scribes copying and recopying, making mistakes, and it's quite easy to change in the text of ways it was big and small before we have complete copies. We can't prepare these. Our oldest will survive the copies with yet older ones to see where their mistakes are where their mistakes are. There aren't any older ones, and the problems get worse. In later times, when we have an abundance of manuscripts, the copyists of the, the, copyists of the New Testament were trained scribes, usually monks and monasteries, copying manuscripts as a sacred duty. These monks of the Middle Ages did their level best. Most, but not all, no, most, but not all of the time, copy their text accurately. They sometimes got tired, inattentive, and made mistakes. And they sometimes changed the continuous the text because they thought it was supposed to be the change. Still, for the most part, they did a good job. But that was only much later in Christian history. In the earliest centuries, the vast majority of the copyists of the New Testament books were not trained as scribes. We know this because we can examine the copies and, and evaluate the quality of their handwriting. Uh, we can evaluate the quality of their handwriting. And we can assess how accurately they did their work. The striking and disappearing fact is that our earliest manuscripts of the New Testament have far more mistakes and differences than, them, than our later ones. The earlier we go in history of copying these texts, the less skilled and attentive these scribes appear to have been. Another way to put this, if you take two New Testament manuscripts from around the year 1000 and compare them to one another, they are often very much alike in every verse. But if you do the same thing with the fragmentary copies made around the year 200, you find lots and lots of differences. Differences from both the manuscripts of the year 1000 and more disconcertingly, differences from one another. This tells us that the earliest scribes were not as skilled as, or acid, acidious. Mind, mind you, just real quick, one quick thing here. Uh, I usually tend to butcher words. I use, I know what a lot of words mean. However, I just tend to mispronounce some words. How do you, how would you pronounce it? A S S I D.